Construction crews will be turning up the volume along the 26th Street reconstruction project in Sioux Falls. We'll tell you what drivers can expect to hear coming up. And two people are dead following a weekend shooting outside a smoke shop in Iowa. We're checking on the progress in law enforcement's search for the killer. Good morning, this is Kelloland On The Go. All you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Well, the big construction project on 26th Street in Sioux Falls will start to get noisier this week. The city posted on Twitter that the bridge contractor will begin pounding pile at 26th Street and Interstate 229 on Monday. The city says that means people in the area can expect to hear loud, consistent pounding noise with short breaks. It will happen every day for the next two to three weeks from 7 in the morning until 7 at night. Well, a drywall company operating out of Sioux Falls has projects in several states. Over 25 years, Greg Sands has built a thriving business based on recovery. Sands struggled with addiction issues when he was young and wound up in prison. After getting out, he started his own company. Because he was given a second chance, he now offers others the same. See how Sands is changing lives in his company and his community in tonight's High on Kelloland at 10. Authorities in Iowa are investigating a weekend shooting outside of a smoke shop that left two people dead. The two victims were sitting inside a car when they were shot early Saturday morning. Two other people are injured. Police are calling it a targeted shooting and not random. Police have not made any arrests yet. The smoke shop was closed Saturday after the shooting, but is expected to reopen today. Well, let's find out if we're going to be getting any breaks in the rain. Here's meteorologist Grant Smith in the Storm Center. Good morning, Grant. Ah, good morning, Perry. You know, it looks like the uh, rain should slowly come to an end this afternoon, but then more rain is coming in tomorrow. So we're just going to hold on to rain chances for at least the first half of your seven day forecast. But from the overnight, these are some of the latest updates. Tonight, it's going to be a cold night. Temperature is cooling down to the low to mid 30s. So freeze warning uh, in the extreme northeast column. And then uh, the counties around it, a frost advisory as temperatures cool to the low to mid 30s tonight. And then this also updated from the overnight winter storm watch goes into effect uh, early this week for the Black Hills for heavy snow possible. It's going to be that hit and that heavy wet snow as well. So here's a look at your future scan forecast for today. Notice the rain lasts through the morning and then this afternoon. Once we get to the second half of the afternoon, especially, we'll begin to see the rain begin to thin out. So this evening, looking at a lot less rain, even fewer clouds uh, and uh, some quieter conditions. But looking ahead to the seven-day forecast, we got more rain on the way. We'll talk about that in just a couple minutes. All right, thank you very much, Grant. Well, the Spring Parade of Homes features more than 80 new homes on display in Sioux Falls, Brandon, Harrisburg, T, Canton, and Wentworth. The parade hours are from 1 to 5. All of the homes are free to tour except the two feature homes, which are $5 each. The proceeds will go to the Home Builders Care Foundation. It is open house weekend at South Dakota State Parks. There's free entrance at all state parks, plus the fishing's free, so licenses are not required. Camping fees still apply. The AMA Coin and Stamp Show features vendors selling and swapping collectibles at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. The hours are from 9 to 4. Admission is free. The Sioux Empire Brass Society presents its spring concert, A History of Popular Music in America, at Gloria Day Lutheran Church in Sioux Falls. The performance is at 7.30 tonight. A free will offering will be taken. The Sioux Empire Community Theater presents the musical Oliver. The performance is at 2 o'clock at the downtown Orpheum Theater. Tickets are $30. Cinema Falls presents the documentary Amazing Grace at the West Mall 7 Theaters in Sioux Falls. The film begins at 6.30 tonight. Tickets are 11.50. And find out about other events taking place today and the rest of this week by going to our events calendar at Kelloland.com. Grant. Well, here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Starting off for the work week, we have another round of rain and snow coming in from the southwest for uh, your Monday. It's going to be moving in. Now, the farther northeast you are, the longer it's going to take for the rain to arrive in your area because it's coming from the southwest to the northeast. Now, what you can expect out of this next rain system, it's going to affect us uh, tomorrow. It's going to affect us on Tuesday, and then it comes to an end Wednesday morning. But during that whole entire period, we can mostly expect just heavy rain possible, one to three inches. The severe weather risk in Kelloland is pretty low. Now, 
now to the south of us, they're looking at all kinds of severe weather, all types. Uh, but here in Kowloon, looking like just uh, lots of rain. Uh, now, rain amounts, this is through Tuesday night, just to kind of broad brush estimates. The northern counties here, one to two inches in the north. The east and northeast, kind of a wide range, but half inch to one and a half inches of rain. The Coteau kind of helping uh, identify where air is going to get a little bit more, a little bit less. And then the southeast, southern, and western areas getting upwards of one and a half to three inches of rain uh, through Tuesday night. Lots of rain expecting. These are broad brush estimates. Might see some isolated spots a little bit more than three inches, especially in western South Dakota. And then the snow possibilities. Yeah, this is the probability of at least eight inches of snow. Notice how it's just there in the Black Hills. That's why there is that winter storm watch for the Black Hills, and there'll be a sharp drop off in the snow coverage outside the Black Hills. So your forecast for today, lots of highs in the 40s. We could actually break some records for coldest high today. And then temperatures tonight will cool down to the 30s. And then Monday, rain moving in from the southwest to the northeast. So the northeast actually looking at reaching the 50s to near 60 degrees. Then your seven day forecast, everybody will eventually see a warm up. It's just we got to get through this work week. Sioux Falls will reach near 70 degrees by Wednesday, and they stay in the upper 60s to low 70s into next weekend. Aberdeen also warming up to the 60s beginning on Wednesday, lasting into the weekend. Another chance for rain, uh, just a small chance there on Thursday. Thursday night. For the Pier area, they'll see the showers coming to an end Wednesday morning, then sunshine in the afternoon. Another chance for rain Thursday night. They'll see temperatures warm to the 60s. Rapid City in western South Dakota, a slow warming trend, but they too eventually make it up to the 60s by Friday. All right, thank you, Grant, and thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great Sunday.